Let's find out more about group 16 of the periodic table, the chalcogens. The name arises from the Greek word chalkos, which refers to them being present in metal ore. These are the main elements in group 16. Polonium and livermorium, the two heaviest elements of the chalcogens, are radioactive. And here are the electronic configurations. As a general overview of their properties, chalcogens have six valence electrons, four of which are in their p orbitals and two of which are unpaired. The lighter ones are generally non-toxic and essential to life. However, the heavier ones are radioactive and do not have any biological role. There are also some general trends moving down the group. We see an increase in boiling point due to the fact that there's a transition from simple molecular structure to metallic structure. There is a decrease in ionization energy, increase in atomic radius, and decrease in electron negativity, which is all due to the fact that electrons are being placed in orbitals of higher principal quantum number, decreasing nucleus electron attraction, and increasing the probability that the electrons are found further away from the nucleus. When we do a comparison between the groups, chalcogens have a lower atomic radius than pinacogens and higher than that of halogens. However, they have higher electron negativity than pinacogens and lower than halogens, and a similar trend is observed for electron affinity. And all this is because of the increasing effective nuclear charge across the group. Generally, ionization energy will increase across the period. However, there's an exception here. This is because of the two paired electrons present inside oxygen, and these two electrons repel each other, which causes reduced energy required to remove one of the electrons, thus resulting in a lower ionization energy. Now let's go through the individual properties of the chalcogens. Oxygen is the most abundant element on Earth, a colorless gas at normal conditions. It is a strong oxidizing agent due to its high electronegativity, and it takes on oxidation states from minus 2 in water to plus 2 in oxygen difluoride, and is also part of many important organic functional groups. Sulfur is a non-metal, a yellow crystal under normal conditions, forming S8. However, about 30 different allotropes of sulfur exist and have been discovered, the most of any element. It is also present in organosulfur compounds, and unlike oxygen, it can expand its octet using its d orbital. Selenium is a metalloid. They form several allotropes depending on temperature, and it's a semiconductor and a photoconductor whose conductivity increases in the presence of light. It has generally similar properties to sulfur. Just like selenium, tellurium is also a photoconductive metalloid that is found in gold with the mineral calaverite as shown. It is technology critical, used in alloys, solar panels, and memory chips. The principle of photoconductivity works in that electrons are excited by light from a valence band to a conduction band, thus increasing electronic conductivity. Polonium is highly radioactive and carcinogenic, as polonium-210 has a half-life of 138 days. It can be synthetically manufactured by bombarding bismuth-209 with neutrons to give bismuth-210, which then decays to form polonium. It is also used as an alpha emitter, a source of alpha particles for radiation studies. Oxygen's only other known allotrope is ozone. However, sulfur has over 30 different allotropes as mentioned. Selenium has three, grey, red, and black allotropes. Polonium has alpha and beta allotropes, and tellurium, however, has no known allotrope. An overview of the chemical reactions of chalcogens will show that reactivity generally decreases down the group. However, the heavier elements have increased radioactivity compared to the rest, and thus are not very common in nature as well. Oxygen participates in exothermic combustion reactions to form carbon dioxide and water vapor when combusting an uh, organic compound. However, it can also form metal oxides. It is found as a final electron receptor in the electron transport chain during aerobic respiration. Sulfur can form sulfur dioxide when reacting with oxygen and contributes to the acid rain. It is also present in sulfuric acid, a widely used strong acid. Water is one of the most common oxygen compounds on Earth and is thought of to support life. This is because of the very polar nature of this molecule that gives rise to very strong hydrogen bonds. This causes water to have a high specific heat and also gives rise to a hexagonal crystal structure of ice, which makes it less dense than water and allows it to serve as an insulatory layer. Oxygen is present in many functional groups as well. As shown, due to its high electronegativity compared to carbon, the carbonyl functional group is considered to be very important because it's the site of nucleophilic attack, thanks to the electron withdrawing effect of oxygen. Oxygen's lone pairs and ability to form double bonds also allows it to stabilize charged molecules via resonance. Sulfur also forms compounds such as polydiazole, the first conductive inorganic polymer, cysteine, the only amino acid that contains sulfur and can also be converted to glutathione, an antioxidant, and sulfur hexafluoride. Tellurium also forms compounds such as AS101 and SAS, which are antiviral and anticancerous. Tellurium dioxide is also a white solid that can be added to glass and has a high refractive index.
selenium dioxide can similarly be added to glass, but gives it a red colour. It can also be used in organic synthesis as a catalyst for allylic oxidation. As can be seen by this mechanism here, the electrophilic selenium atom can attack the electron-rich pi bond. Subsequently, hydrolysis can break the selenium oxygen bond to obtain an allylic alcohol, which can be further oxidized by potassium permanganate to give an aldehyde. 